today we are going to discuss about the mcqs of chapter 1 rotational dynamics class 12th state board of maharashtra now uh, i am going to read this mcq number 1 from exercise when seen from below the blades of ceiling fan are seen to be revolving in an anti clockwise and their speed is decreasing um, we are seeing it from below select the correct statement about the directions of its angular velocity and angular acceleration so here we first of all let us uh, try to understand about the right hand thumb rule because as as per right hand thumb rule we determine the direction of angular velocity therefore if we hold our right hand in such a way that four fingers are curled and thumb is outstretched let us say the um, curl fingers they are pointing in an anti clockwise sense then thumb will be pointed in the upward therefore this one will be the direction of omega bar so if speed is increasing the direction of omega bar and alpha bar are in the same direction while that of if it is a clockwise sense then if we again arrange our uh, fingers as per our fingers of our right hand as per right hand thumb rule then thumb points in the direction of in the downward direction it is the direction of omega bar and same is the direction of alpha bar if the speed is increasing if speed is decreasing then alpha bar and omega bar are oppositely directed now look here if we see it from below we see that fan is moving in an anti clockwise sense but it's like a mirror image if we see actually it from the top or the sense of rotation of the fan it is in the clockwise sense therefore for clockwise sense the direction of omega bar is in the downward direction but simultaneously my object is rotating in such a way that speed is decreasing therefore for decreasing speed if the omega bar is in the downward direction alpha bar must be in the upward direction and object is in the clockwise sense as per the um, mirror image uh, concept so this option number b which is correct that is angular velocity down pointing downward and alpha bar pointing in the upward direction for the given condition now let us see the mcq number 2 it is it says that a particle of mass 1 kg tied to a 1.2 meter long string is whirled to perform vertical circular motion under gravity minimum speed of particle is 5 meter per second consider following statements maximum speed must be 5 root 5 and difference between the two tensions that is from top and bottom it is 60 meter now let us assume that my object is performing a vertical circular motion so in this cir vertical circular motion we all know that velocity is minimum at the topmost point and its value comes out to be root of rg and here for this lowermost point the velocity is always maximum and its value is root of phi u rg but given condition is that minimum velocity given is we did not uh, yeah minimum velocity value given is phi u meter per second but as per formula minimum velocity is equals to root of r into g on substituting r and g where r is the length of the string which is being revolved it is 1.2 meter therefore it is 1.2 meter acceleration due to gravity is 10 therefore answer comes out to be 3.464 this is the minimum speed which is required to maintain this vertical circular motion but the speed given is 
greater than the speed which is 5 meter per second so for 5 meter per second definitely object is uh, it will maintain the vertical circular motion now maximum speed maximum speed given is 5 root 5 so v max which is given it is equals to 5 into root 5 but root 5 is 2.23 so it will be 5 into 2.23 it comes out to be 11.15 meter per second but as per formula maximum speed that is the speed at the bottom of vertical circular motion it is root of 5 r into g substituting it here 5 into 1.2 into 10 it comes out to be root 60 and root 60 value is 7.74 it is 7.74 meter per second this is the minimum value which is uh, re which required to maintain this vertical circular motion at the bottom but the speed given is definitely greater than this therefore for this speed also 11.15 the object maintains its vertical circular motion now let us check about the tensions the difference in the tensions difference in the tensions is bottom tension minus top tension it is equals to 6 m into g now putting the values 6 into m is 1 acceleration due to gravity is 10 therefore it comes out to be 60 newton and this is the value 60 newton given that is difference between two tensions topmost and the bottom therefore both the statements maximum speed must be this and uh, difference between uh, maximum and minimum tensions along the string is 60 newton it is correct therefore both the statements a and b are correct now let us check about the third MCQ which gives us select the expression correct statement uh, about the formula for the expression of moment of inertia um, m of an object and some of its distance parameters such as r l. So it says that first statement is different object must have different expressions. It's not like that. There are two objects. They must, they may have same moment of inertia. So this is not true. When rotating about their central axis, hollow right circular cone and the disc, they have the same expression, which is one half of m into r square. Therefore, this statement is correct. Now, next statement, next MCQ. In a certain unit, the radius of gyration of uniform disc about its central transverse axis is root 2.5. Its radius of gyration about a tangent in its plane must be how much? So let us calculate it. First of all, moment of inertia of a disc about its transverse axis, it is one half of m into r square. Now, moment of inertia uh, can also be expressed in terms of uh, radius of gyration, it is m into k square, therefore the same get cancelled. It will be r square by 2 is equals to k square. On taking square root, we get r by root 2 is equals to k. Therefore, r is equals to r is equals to root 2 into k but k is equals to 2.5 square root therefore it will be 2 into 
5 that is equals to r is equals to root of 5. Then moment of inertia of um, a disk about its tangent is 5 by 4 mr square. Therefore, mi of a disk about its tangent it is equals to 5 by 4 into m into r square which is equals to 5 by 4 into m into r square which is equals to m into k square this is expressed in terms of or radius of variation therefore the same get cancel therefore whatever is the remaining is k is equals to r square root of 5 by 4 but we got this value of r therefore k is equals to r is root 5 into root 5 by 2 square root of 4 is 2 Therefore, it will be k is equals to 5 upon 2. That is equals to 2.5. Therefore, k has dimension similar to length 2.5 meters. Now next. Consider the following cases. A planet revolving in an elliptical orbit. A planet revolving in a circular orbit. Principle of conservation of angular momentum comes in the force in which of these. Planet is revolving in a, first of all, it is revolving in a, in an elliptical orbit and second, it is revolving in a circular orbit. So, whatever may be the uh, revolution, it is moving along a curve. Therefore, in both the cases, mom, uh, angular momentum remains constant. it is for both A and B. Now let us look at the last example which is a thin hollow cylinder is rolling down an incline without slipping at any instant. The ratio of the rotational kinetic energy translational kinetic energy and total kinetic energy is out of which it is asked. Therefore, rotational kinetic energy is to translational kinetic energy is to total kinetic energy. Rotational kinetic energy is one half of m into R square omega square. Translational kinetic energy is half of mv square. So it will be half of m into r square into omega square. And this will be m into r square omega square. Now simplifying this m r square omega square. This is common in all. So it will be 1 half is to 1 half is to 1. Or it can also be written as 1 is to 1 is to 1 uh, is to 2. Dividing throughout by 2. So we got this 1 is to 1 is to 2. So this is the option number A. So all the MCQs we have discussed. Thank you.